Police officers in Wisconsin say they are delighted that a man who was on the run for 30 years has finally been arrested here in Iowa. Yeah, West Des Moines police made that arrest back in June. Wisconsin state records say Harbor Road is a convicted rapist in a 1983 case. George Harbor Road, that is. Our James Stratton spoke to one of the officers on that case today. I'm sure you know that, but the man riding his bike isn't who he says he is. Can I get your uh, Greg Stallings? Greg Stallings is your name? Greg okay. Greg. Pulled over for not having a rear reflector in West Des Moines, Iowa. All right, brother. Time to be honest with me, okay? So the info you give me comes back to a dead guy. Gregory Stallings is dead. After more officers show up, the man on the ground finally gives his real name. That part redacted, but officers are astonished. George Hartle Road has been on the run for decades. None of us are mad at you. I'm just baffled that law enforcement has let you go for 30 years. Hartle Road took off from a Madison halfway house in 1995. He was convicted of holding a woman at knife point to perform sexual acts, tying her to a tree, leaving her for dead. She was later found alive by two women. I'm delighted that he's been recaptured. I'm surprised that he was still alive. 12 News tracked down the lead investigator from the 1983 case in Chippewa County. Retired Detective Bill Glass plans to call the Iowa officers and thank them. This is what good police work is. When things don't check out, don't just give up, keep digging. Hartle Road is now in the Dane County Jail in Madison after being extradited. He says he will run if released. I will jump again as soon as they turn me loose. The survivor of Harder Road's crimes says she's in shock that he was caught after 30 years, saying she hopes no one else was hurt while he was on the run. James Stratton, KCCI 8 News, Iowa's News Leader.